So you're thinking about moving to Woodstock, Georgia, and your budget is in the 800s, but you have no idea what your money will buy. And that's exactly what we're going to cover in this video. We're going to take you around to a couple of places in that price point so you can get some insights into the market. And we're going to get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing the good and the bad of living in Atlanta, Georgia, well, subscribe below and ring the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market here in Atlanta, or in this case, Woodstock, and when we release new content. My name's Denny. The team and I get calls each and every day from people just like you looking to make them move to Atlanta. We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving next week, next year, or anytime in between, call, text, email, schedule a Zoom, We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Atlanta. As I mentioned, if your budget's in the 800s, you're gonna to wanna to stick around because we're gonna to tour some properties in that price point. Before we do, thought I'd give you a little tour of where I'm at. Uh, right here behind me, you have Reformation Brewery. It's one of my favorite places to grab a craft beer here in the Woodstock area. You can see there's lots of residential uh, properties right here behind us, as well as this huge, lovely outdoor uh, playground for kids. Look at this. How much fun is that? Let's not forget amphitheaters, music, parties, funs, and festivals. There's a little bit of everything for everyone, so uh, let's get on to that first stop on our tour. All right, on this stop in the 800s in our tour of Woodstock, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a different vibe. This is Main Street. Downtown is literally three tenths of a mile. It's a short five minute walk. And right here, as you can see behind me, you could have yourself a three bedroom, two bath penthouse condo with a two car garage under the building parking, dog park, concierge service. This is one of those places where you can lose your car keys and find yourself. You're right here, right down the street from the action. And uh, if condo living is your thing, they'll have a fitness center and all the kind of amenities uh, right there in the building, as well as shops and restaurants here on the bottom for your enjoyment. That's about $830,000, three bedrooms, two baths, you know, around 2,000, 2,500 square feet. But I'll throw up some, uh, some pictures and some plans just so you get a better idea of what it'll look like. But that is city living in Woodstock. Okay, so on this stop, we're going to be looking at this beautiful home right here behind me. Uh, we're just maybe two minutes in a car, five minutes walking from downtown Woodstock. This particular property was uh, built in 2015, so it's like new, not brand new. If it were about a block down in the new construction south on Main, uh, it would probably be a million to a million two. But because it's a few years old, it's listed at $850,000. It's four bedrooms, three bathrooms, 2,600 square feet. It's got 10 foot coffered ceilings, really great design uh, and material finishes, appliances, all the things that you would love. A single family home and all of the amenities next to downtown uh, Woodstock. So I think if uh, you're in the 800s, you're, you're gonna be hard pressed to find a better value uh, than that. You've got shops and boutiques and things right here down the street and a great option in this price point. It's just keep on coming here in the 800s. We've seen some great properties and this one is no different. This custom built home was uh, built in 2019. We're less than a mile from downtown Woodstock. Uh, we're very close to Woodstock Elementary School, Parks and Recreation. As you can see, we're in this nice quiet circle and the house is actually tucked right back there, the one, the gray one on the end 
six bedrooms, four bathrooms, 3,400 or 3,600 square feet. But man, seven and a half inch wide plank European oak floors, white, gray, light, bright paint. They mix in a lot of wood texture. I love when you bring the outside inside. It's got like a modern slash rustic vibe going on. So from a design perspective, it is on point. This is a very quiet, sought after neighborhood. You've got a mixture of ranches and two story homes and the location couldn't be better. I always say, you know, it's area first, neighborhood second, house third. It's like check, check and check, 850,000 like new and a lovely home. So on this stop, we're gonna be showing you some new construction. And whenever there's construction, there's always noise. We got a guy working on a backhoe right here. They're building this building. So you've got commercial, residential, shops, dining, beautiful homes. This is called a dare park. And uh, I'm actually gonna be showing you, it's a new construction lot. So the home is not built, but they'll be built just like these. I wanted to, I'll show you some pictures of the interior of maybe some of these, uh, but it's this lot right here down on the end. This is a beautiful building too, by the way but it's going to be $870,000. dollars are talking about four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, luxury, new construction, high ceilings, great appliances, countertops, all the materials, obviously current design. This is the lot right here. It's going to be an in lot. There's a little alley that goes behind. The garages are in the back and behind, but again, brand new construction, four, three and a half, $870,000. Uh, it'll probably take at least a year you know, so this is July of 2022 when I'm shooting this, depending on when you're moving, uh, that may or may not be available. It's probably going to go to someone who secures it here, you know, in the near term and is willing to wait for the construction. Uh, but the proximity to downtown, you're talking about two minutes in a car, maybe five, 10 minutes in a walk, depending on which side of downtown. In downtown, you're going to have breweries and coffee shops and parks and restaurants and boutiques and dessert and all that kind of stuff so location's great not sure what businesses will end up right there but if you're kind of looking for that blit that walkable lifestyle then that's eight hundred and seventy thousand dollars <laughs> Well, hopefully that gave you a good idea of what the market looks like here in Woodstock if your budget's in the 800s. If you haven't already, do us a favor, subscribe below, ring the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know when we release new content. And if you'd love to grab, what do you, what do you prefer? Craft beer or craft coffee? I have a hard time choosing. This is from the Copper Coin, my favorite coffee shop, which is right on the other side. There's more beer right down the street. It's called Truck and Tap, where they have beers on tap and food truck, different food trucks every day. So you get a variety of food, all kinds of stuff here in downtown Woodstock. That being said, I'd love to, you know, get some feedback from you on the tour. Which home was your favorite? You can let us know in the comments. Obviously, if you're moving, we'd love to help. Whether it's next week, next year, or any time in between, call, text, email, schedule a Zoom. We'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Woodstock or any other suburb here in Atlanta. And until we see you in person, hopefully we'll see you on the next episode.